Welcoming to the uh, Shikama live show with your host Shikama. We're coming here from uh, Berlin and I have the camera set up all completely wrong. Okay, whatever. At least you all get to see Anubis. Right, buddy? Right, buddy? Oh, buddy. No. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, secret technology. Why, why am I calling this secret? Because um, there has been zero reports for the past three years about this. So before three years, there was reports. And then three years ago, they came out with one last report would, uh, mentioning all sorts of successes. And there hasn't been anything since I've searched. Secret technology women no longer needed for childbirth at all at any stage they're called motherless babies uh, and while the normal usage of that is for a widower man who lost his wife uh, it now means that you can have a baby without any input from a female in the technology called reverse parthogenesis or reverse virgin birth uh, which was a myth, uh, science has revolutionized humans. A single man can now create an egg and apply his own sperm to create a male or female child. Key point. Depending on which news outlet you read the discovery from, it would be promoted as one man or two men. You get the drift? Uh, not to be outdone, the same thing is said of women. That they can produce children without men. But there's a catch. The only new out news outlet that reports this are staunch pro-lesbian uh, newspapers. And there was a single experiment done. And there's a catch. Women can only produce women. Although the science hasn't even been proven to be real oh and it definitely requires two different women's eggs which means if one of the women's eggs are bad the entire thing is a failure but back to men the idea of sperm was always that it did something to the egg but now it is known that it is the opposite the egg introduces instruction to the sperm to complete DNA and start replicating. Uh, what's the breakthrough? You needed, you don't need an egg for that at all. In fact, you can take hair, skin, and nails, or any part of the body actually, any, any uh, human cells, and get the same exact result because the sperm is the king. The irony is that so many women have done terrible things such as uh, keeping sperm to trap men when men <laughs> when men <laughs> just didn't know how important and powerful sperm was. In fact, sperm is so powerful that a woman can keep it inside of her for years and later have a baby from the sperm. Have you seen cases where uh, the, the the couple, you know, gets married and out pops a black baby from a white couple? And and uh, when they, of course, when they do the uh, DNA test on the baby, uh, it is in fact not the man's. Uh, well, when they ask and they say, well. Uh, uh, I did uh, do it with Tyrone some years ago, but that was years ago. It wasn't nine months ago. And uh, they have said, uh, well, this is what can happen. Uh, the, uh, the sperm can literally just chill out for a very long time. Sperm cells are so important to spark development, almost all human tissue can start it up. Let's say women uh, were the perfect angels, we wish they would be. This could mean women wouldn't have to worry about losing their fertility. 
they could, well, they could lose their fertility. Uh, they could have babies all the way up until their 90s. Women, tell me, would you like to have children uh, in your 90s? Uh, what are you doing? Go sit down. Go sit. Go. Go sit. What are you doing? <laughs> but unfortunately, our reality is as such. That the only thing that this will be used for is for men to have their own children. Uh, couple this with the robotic artificial womb and women aren't needed at all in the process of creating new life. Tell me what you think about that. Thank you all for watching the Shikama live show. Uh, I have new merch. Not this shirt. I'm just, I'm just being super swag with my shirt. Uh, I have new merch. I'll put the uh, merch link in the comment. Uh, and your, and your uh, keyword to say that you reached all the way to here is uh, new merch. All right. Uh, please like and subscribe if you uh, haven't subscribed before. Thank you all so much.